Hello everyone, welcome back to We Know What You Like, Lucia here. Today we're about to watch episode 2, uh, One Hand is Enough of Devilman Crybaby. I just finished watching the first episode, which for you was last week, but for me, two minutes ago. And it was really good, I love the color scheme, I love how it incorporates so many different ways of imagination for the different demons, how they sprout from the bodies. I love the the voice actors I recommend I uh, recommend recognize several of them right off the bat and um yeah I uh, I suspect this is going to be a revenge sort of story as soon as Akira goes back to normal if he does I don't, I don't know if he does or won't or will but if when he finds out the truth behind his becoming a devil because of Rio Yo, that bitch, he was just like, ha ah. ha he's like, they're, you know, they're, they deserve it. Why do they deserve it? Because they like to party? That's, that's a little much, sir. Maybe you deserve it. But yes, um, we have devils incorporating themselves into the regular world. They said, you know, we have track stars or athletes, basically, who are faster and, you know, they're uh, surviving longer in their host bodies. And um, kind of reminded me of Parasite a little bit, you know, the hosts, the Parasites, they realize by going through spoilers, like dogs and cat and animals and such, that um, it wasn't better, um, you know, being in humans is better to survive. So, yeah, I'm uh, interested in learning more. Like I said, I just watched the first episode. And uh, generally when episodes, uh, first episodes in a season really get me interested, I really want to watch the next episode right away. Also, it depends on how much time I have. I happen to have a lot more time today, so which is why I'm watching the second episode. So no knocks on other shows when I only watch one episode a day. But yeah, um, we're going to watch episode two right now. Alright everyone, so just finished watching episode two of Devilman Cry Baby. One hand is enough. Akira is now morphed into Amon, the demon, but he, since he has a heart... He doesn't want to necessarily hurt bad people. He only is going after the devils. Um, I still don't like Rio. Still don't like him. That one tr long haired girl with the brown hair, long brown hair, who track and field girl is thirsty. She's not the only one. You know, there are other thirsty ass people uh, for Akira, but she was the one I was like, in the honey pot. Now, um, did she actually have sex with the the photographer dude because like there was an image above her but it was blacked out because like shadowed out like did he did she was imagining someone else when and, and when she was touching herself was that her fantasy to be forced i don't know yo if akira is still a virgin by the end of this episode uh, season series i call bullshit <laughs> um the reporter dude though i don't think he's gonna die i honestly think they might team up like yo because rio said he he wants this to get known to the public and maybe that's true but he also is using a cure along the way and i'm like mm -mm, mm -mm. um yeah good stuff um episode three next week i unfortunately won't be watching that episode next you'll see me in different clothes but uh, until next time, this was the CEO's We Know What You Like, and bye.